Having grown up in Las Vegas, environment wasn't necessarily one of the major topics and also it just really wasn't big in my life in general. Recentemente descubrí que de niña los espacios verdes fueron para mí muy significativos. La montaña, los ríos, el océano, las flores venían a ser los juguetes para mí. Well, I started to get involved with Hispanic Access Foundation actually through a flyer, like a flyer that my counselor just shared with me about the scholarship. And I was like, okay, this is not only for DACA students, but also for AP 540. This is something that really benefited me. Hispanic Access Foundation is a national nonprofit, and we are guided by our core values and core principles of catapulting the Latino community into action by providing access, capacity, and the belief to create big changes. And we're in DC this week for Latino Advocacy Week. We're flying in 20 advocates from across the nation to come and participate in our hybrid briefing day and our in-person fly-in on Capitol Hill and a meeting with the Department of Interior. This year, we're flying advocates from all our networks, our Mano alumni, our Latino Climate Council members, our Ola Si Acción, formerly known as our Ocean Advisory Council, and our faith leaders from Hispanic Leadership Network and our Por la Creación Faith-Based Alliance. Pues como pastor, eh, nosotros podemos ver muchas cosas que afectan a nuestra comunidad latina acá en los Estados Unidos. Estando aquí en el Latino Advocacy Week es una gran oportunidad no solamente para compartir y conocer otras personas, sino también para reunirnos con los diferentes representantes. Sharing this experience with the other advocates has really allowed me to sit in my authenticity and be who I am. Me siento acompañada de puertorriqueños y puertorriqueñas que pudiesen entender la oportunidad que hay detrás de la naturaleza para sanar. Latino Advocacy Week is important because we are empowering our community leaders that would not normally have a seat at the table and not normally come and advocate for themselves here in DC. I feel empowered to keep on contributing back to my community. Well, I feel just really humbled and joyful and hopeful for the future because we are here, they are here, and uh, we're here together. I'm here to make sure that there's policies put into place so that I can do my job. I can make sure that there's a resilient Miami that is going to exist beyond climate change, beyond sea level rise, and beyond natural disasters, and that it can help create a workforce that's necessary for the future for our United States. Como inmigrante acá de, de Costa Rica, hay algo que ha sido de mucho valor para mí, y es el saber de que mi voz puede ser escuchada. There is more, and there continues to be more, and I can dream as big as I want because there's always the possibility of what can be. It's a very special thing, so what Hispanic Access does is, is very powerful, and I'm very grateful to be able to be a part of it. If I had never met them, I would have probably never heard of the resources and opportunities that are available to me. Anyone can be part of Hispanic Access Foundation through our many initiatives like Latino Advocacy Week, Latino Conservation Week, our Planet, our Heritage Film Week. There are events that are held virtually as well as in person. Join us as we build power together.